Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to a quick video basically showing you uh, the parts you can put together to build a Hackintosh for under $500 or, or £400. So starting off, the motherboard is a Gigabyte Z77 DS3H. Uh, it's a full feature motherboard, it has full SLI and Crossfire support, SAT3 6 gigabit per second and USB 3. Basically just a very nice budget feature motherboard. In terms of processor, we've gone with an Intel Core i3 3225. We went for the 3225 because of the HD 4000 graphics. It's a dual core, runs at 3.2 GHz I believe. You can't overclock, but it is Ivy Bridge and it is great on power. We have 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance memory. It's basically just any generic RAM you want. It's at 1600 MHz this particular kit and two 4 gig sticks. For a power supply, we went with a 500 watt uh, Corsair CX power supply. These are now 80 plus bronze and they are very, very good value. For a hard drive, we couldn't really stretch to an SSD, so instead I went with a Seagate Barracuda 1TB, it's 7200 RPM, uh, very fast and very affordable. Now the case is a personal opinion, the case I picked for this build is a Corsair uh, Series 300R, uh, it's, it's cheap, it's metal, it's fully metal, uh, and it's black, the internals are black, the externals are black, everything is black, which is actually rare to find in a very cheap case. Now, if you do want a Wi-Fi card, that is an extra $40 or £30, so that would bit bring it up to $520 or £410, something like that. But you can get a TP-Link Wi-Fi card uh, for, for a very good price, and that will actually allow you to use your Hackintosh uh, anywhere around the house. Okay, so if I'd have to recommend some upgrades that I would personally do, first of all, I'd get an SSD. I'd get a 120 gig plus uh, SSD for a boot drive, just so things load faster and you get an overall smoother experience. And other than that, I'd probably actually add a dedicated GPU. Uh, so you can do a bit light gaming or even heavy gaming um, on a Windows partition or even use it for CUDA for accelerating applications in the OS X environment. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to check out the description just below the like button. Um, I'll put a leave a link to the US site to get all of the all of the uh, parts that I mentioned in this video, even the SSD uh, and a graphics card if you really want to. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.